Hello, welcome your faces back to the final episode of Horror Fest. If you guys don't know, I've been playing a brand new horror game every single day throughout October, and this is it. This is the final game. It was weird to say because I've been recording every single day, I've been editing every single day, making sure that everything is set for this series. I, I just want to say a massive thank you because I didn't expect this series to really go anywhere and like to a degree I was <laughs> I was right. Some of the videos are just absolutely bombed. There's been so many people engaging with the videos saying that they love this playthrough, they love the scary moments, the editing, even the thumbnails I think got some love as well. So I said it in layers of fear but I'll say it again. Being able to play 31 different horror games in 31 days would it be possible without the support you guys show watching the videos i like to consider myself fortunate to be in a position where i can buy these games i can play them share that experience it really does mean the world also to finish my ramble tomorrow we're going to be doing a highlight reel all the scariest moments the funniest moments and that is going to be the true finish the wrapping things up and then going forward i think it's just going to be rpgs having fun for the rest of a year doing a lot of live streaming because there's a lot of games that i want to finish up that's the gist of it i think <laughs> anyway i have chewed your ear off let's jump in to amnesia the dark descent for the record, anybody who's just coming into this series, I do not play horror games. I don't know what to expect most of the time. This one, however, it's a little bit different because this is where my journey with horror games truly began. You know, I've played games like The Last of Us and stuff like that. That was my kind of introduction to actually playing the games. But my first experience watching a horror game and, and like really getting into that, PewDiePie, Amnesia, the edits and stuff that he used to do. Mustn't be forgotten. So I like that we're coming full circle here. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at... at... Uh, Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is... is... I am Daniel. Okay. I think I can remember anything about this game. I remember there's like a creepy monster with a lantern, I think. Yeah, that hangover feeling. I know that one well, buddy. I know it well. A memento has been added to the journey. Make sure to check these whenever you're stuck. Ah, oh, it's a puzzly one? Okay. Mementos, follow the liquid trail and find its source. Liquid trail. Oh, we're going the wrong way. It's with a motion blur. Is it just because we're, like, hung over or whatever? The liquid trail. This? Oh, the little spots on the floor. Okay. Easy, buddy. Easy. Hello? Uh, interact. Help! Help! <laughs> Hold down. Around. Okay. Press L1 to throw the door shut. Okay. Gotcha. What is this? Tender box. Hello? Is anybody here? Cinderboxes are used to light candles and other light sources in the environment. Is there anything we can light in here? Everything looks lit. Not like a cool kid. That, like, I mean, another one. Oh, can we do this? Hey! Look at us, huh? Little pyromaniac. Why are we walking so slow? Oh. With the footsteps, man. Beautiful. Are 
we good? Come on. Get up. Oops, a daisy. What's the point in the light sources? Oh. When standing in darkness, your sanity will slowly during turn on the lights using a tinderbox as it will search for other sources of light. Oh, so that's why we do the little lights? So we don't go insane. A little bit messed up, but okay. Ooh, three books. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, I've already been scared once by books. It will not work on me again. Ah! Any kind of boogie. Stop it. Stop it. Drop. When this unsettling events will reduce your sanity, it will be increased by completing complex puzzles. Okay, I need a... Uh... Hello? That's fine, we're okay. We're okay. Everything is awesome. Ah. Perfect. Great. Never mind the earthquakes. We are good. It's just because I had a big lunch. That's all it is. Of August 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there will be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum. Uh -huh. Find Alexander yep. and kill him. Kay. His body is old and weak, and yours Young and strong. Thank you. He will be no match for you. Great. One last thing. A shadow is following you. Oh, shit. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. Oh, good, good. I journal. What's this? Move the right stick. I am. Pretty good. Ah, the old secret entrance, huh? Okay. There's a secret entrance to the entrance hall. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking. Come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... Uh. What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. Gross. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. Brennenburg. Makes me think of a cake. Uh, Alright, we got options now, people. Options. Uh, let's go, let's check this out up top first. No! Get away from me! I'm coming! 
Don't you worry, lass. Ye be safe with me. I may not be able to find you, but I will look. Where you at, love? I've got a lamp. I'm not afraid to use it. Oh, uh, hello. Does anybody have any matches? Like of a chimney, property to vent fumes where most recent experiments have taken toll on the many of the less stable ingredients in my storage. Okay. Not exactly as useful as I was hoping. I got oil though. Yay. There should be more cooperites. Nope. Let me see. Let me see. I literally just picked up oil. Aquaforks. How do you use the oil? Mementos? No. Nope. Didn't teach me how to use it. Mom! The rock is screaming at me again. Uh, do we have to, like, attach this? Like, that? Ping pong. No. Oh, I found the menu. So, now what? Chemical ingredients have been moved from the laboratory to the wine cellar. Alright. Where's this thing? Damn buddy buddy. Nothing. Archives, we'll try that in a second. Maybe just have a look down here first. Oh, it's all boarded up, right? Ooh, free stuff. have a key. What is this? 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition. Make this doesn't help me. Thank you for the law. But I don't want law. I want tiny metallic objects. What is this? Oh! What happened? Did I have a cocaine in it? Oh god. Well now I'm gonna be high. Yeah. What is this? Now open. Show me your secrets. You are full of lies. Oh. Oh. That does not look safe. Oh, law. Oh, the law gave me a fucking flashbang. God, the law is powerful. May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Hello? It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. And a touch to the butt. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away. 
unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted, the voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety, and grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. That's lovely. Did it come with a key by chance? Okay, but that doesn't make any sense because it just said I can't break it by hand and then I broke it by hand. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? Uh -huh. If it stops, you'll have to start over. First one? Is all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Daniel. What do you mean, first one? Okay, some kind of puzzle. Yeah, brute force, fuck yeah. Okay, now we're talking. What is this? Not reading all that. Lovely writing, though. I'm going to pretend that I enjoyed it thoroughly. Uh, oh, um, okay, okay, okay. I get it. Uh, let, this. Hmm. Is there a second? Is this one okay? Two There's more. Make our way down to the laboratory again. No, wine cellar and then laboratory. Uh, what the hell? Oh, that's gross. Use the key on the door. Uh, boom. Let me in. Where did the Baron go? Who cares? He left us in a wine to last us a lifetime. Or at least until tomorrow. We okay. Are we good? There, on the wrong side. There we go. One out of four. Yeah. Nope. No. 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 Not this. Yeah. That one. Yeah. This is gross. What's happening? Oh, it feels like my chest is going to burst. Oh. My yeah. God, Wilhelm, do something! Except it. we're not getting out of here. Why? How can you say that? Two out of four. Okay. Piece of shit. Let us out of here. 
Let's go. Keep her moving. Two more to find. Barrels. Three out of four. Leave the door open, please. Thank you. Don't open. If an enemy is near, stay out of sight and hide in the darkness. What? chemicals we need okay we're good we're good we're good everything is us shit Duh. everything is awesome I think that's all four ingredients, right? Run to the laboratory. Go! Pay no mind to these foolish enemies. Here we go, mate. Beautiful, that is. Gorgeous. Right, so I need to drink some of the... Oh, fuck, I only got three. God. Damn it! There's one. Two. Three! That's not good. That's not good at all. Um. How am I going to get back upstairs? Paco. Paco has failed me. Oh, that's cool. You can actually like move. The environment around? Try and build your way back up. That's clever. Look at that. Getting dangerously low on the oil now. Got one more dose. Let's go back to the wine cellar and see if I can find that one that I missed. There's the one door that wouldn't open. I don't think it was this one. I think it was the other one. Yeah, okay. So that's barrel. And then we have... Maybe it's back in here with the spooky dude. This. Warpament. That's all we need. All right. Making my way downstairs. Going to Hogwarts. And we're going to make a potion. <laughs> Come. Make me a brew lad. I'll need to turn on the burners. Where? Burners? This way? Burners, burners, burners. Burners, burners, burners. This? No. Like this. Bam. Okay. There we go. 
gorgeous. And then we go that way. And uh, that way. And uh, this way. Look at me, mate. Fucking polar juice potion over here. Hell yeah. Pot of acid. Let's take it to a nightclub. Gross. Ew, there's so much fleshy material. Ew. And do we take this down here, I believe. Like this. And then we go acid. Yes, yes, yes. Kaboom! Sweet. Alright, it's a pretty good game. I'm probably going to wrap it up in a second, depending on if there's anything fun behind this door. It's very slow paced. Like, I would play this in my own time, but I feel like if you're watching a video, like, it's going to be... It's going to be kind of mid to watch the whole thing. It's kind of spooky, though, and I like that there's not... It sure is dark in here. Yes, and there's a good reason for it. But you can light the lamp now if you wish. What's the reason for the darkness, that is? Stay close. Be careful not to stray. Yes, boss. What's the reason? Why is it so dark? Pay attention, Dandel. It's important that you keep going straight and make sure not to stray. Okay. Yeah, anyway, like I was saying, I like that it's not all monsters and action and jump scares in that. Like, it seems like we're starting to pick up on that, but it's focused on the lore and the story and things, which is kind of, it's weirdly like a rare thing with these horror games. There doesn't seem to be much attention on like world building and things like that. This genuinely feels like it's got a really vibrant world to it, something that you want to learn about and explore. Hello. Oh. Are we good? Okay, I need a way of healing. We have these boxes we can move here. Let's grab that. Oh. <sighs> All right, I think I'm actually gonna wrap this one up here. It's been fun. I feel like this is just, it's either getting boring for you to watch or I'm getting tired. It's like nearly midnight now, so. But either way, we have finally come to an end of Horror Fest. And like I said, it's been a one hell of a journey. Amnesia is a really nice way to wrap it up. It's just pure nostalgia for me. It may not be the most interesting in the series. I may actually do like a breakdown of all the horror games I've played, what I learned and the best ones that I had a chance to experience. Amnesia is definitely an interesting looking game, but like I said, I feel like it's just one of those ones you need to sit down and play yourself it's kind of hard to experience all the emotion through a video which you know that it seems to be a recurring thing again with the horror games it seems like such a, a weird genre to try and nail it's not like rpgs right you can just lay out a bunch of go here and then you can get this like secret item go here and you can explore this hidden cave like this is literally the the entire construct of the game is based around how engaged can we get a player and i think that's a really hard thing to now. But anyway, I love you faces. Thank you so much for being a part of the channel. You're amazing, you're beautiful, and I will catch you tomorrow when we do a full highlight reel of everything we've experienced over the last 31 days. I love your faces. You're amazing, you're beautiful, and I will catch you in the next one.